Mike Pillow is taking his war against Fox News to a sad new level, which means it's time for another episode of Pillow Talk. God gave me this platform. I already know I'm going to win. China did our vote. Biden and Harris would say, hey, we're here to protect the country and resign. Mike Lindell's a conspiracy. But you haven't. Just forget about the evidence. This was attacked. Ah, uh, my pillow CEO Mike Lindell. He's very mon- uh, mad at Fox News. Very, very mad. Um, he's mad at them for, of course, settling with Dominion voting systems for seven hundred and eighty-seven point five million dollars to avoid going to trial over their constant stream of election lies. Uh, now, despite the fact, of course, they did air those lies, which hosts did not even personally buy, according to their own text messages. Uh, nonetheless, Lindell is going to go in to claim that Fox News, uh, Fox News was part part of the effort, part of the steal. And he's going to tell it to Chris Cuomo. Take a look. I believe Fox played a big part in this election crime because back then they called Arizona early. They did. They made it. Smartmatic sued. Fox News on February 4th of 2021. That started lawfare in this whole country. Since that time, people like me have not been able to go on any conservative media and talk about our election. So Fox has been suppressing for some reason, and they make this deal with Dominion, this backdoor Yeah, they made the deal with Dominion. They made the deal with Dominion because they were caught and they knew it was going to get only worse. I have subpoenaed Fox for ev- They've never asked me for the evidence. We posted on Frank's speech. Anybody of can go course. look at it. They, Fox News of has course. never they subpoenaed didn't want me the for evidence. the evidence. We have subpoenaed Fox for their evidence, and they won't give us anything. They won't give well, us they're anything. Not gonna give We're going you, to they're the not going to give you. They're not going to give you. But, Mike, Mike. You, they're not going to produce evidence of the non-existence of the election being rigged. And they did more than anybody else did to fuel the speculation, which is how they got jammed up with Dominion. <laughs> uh, I love all of that. It's so good. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold on. Hold on. So he asked to see Fox News' evidence. But wait, I thought. Just forget about the evidence. What, what's going on? What, what's happening here? I don't, I don't quite understand. Huh? Weird. Um, look, obviously Chris Cuomo is correct uh, in this. Uh, Fox News isn't going to pull evidence out of their, you know where. Okay. Uh, if they had it, by the way, if they had evidence, real evidence that the election was, you know, rigged in this case against Donald Trump and and, and for Joe Biden, they wouldn't shut up about it. I mean, all of their hopes would be one hundred percent all in. But again. We saw that Fox hosts and executives, they're like, yeah, this is nonsense. This is nuts. This is ridiculous. It's stupid. Um, But hey, you know what we got to do? Obviously, we have to lie to our audience. And that's what they did because they wanted to make sure to keep their stock. Uh, They wanted to make sure to keep their viewership from fleeing to Newsmax, which is, by the way, it's exactly what's happening. Now, of course, in order to do that, they ended up of course, getting themselves into legal trouble. Uh, and, well, they ended up having to pay a massive af- uh, amount of money. They ended up firing Tucker Carlson, uh, which created, by the way, a huge vacuum in their programming. Now, it turns out nearly half of the 3 million viewers who would tune in to Tucker Carlson each night, well, they left. They went to Newsmax. They're saying, no, 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 you don't understand. We want to be lied to. We, we want you to tell me sweet little lies about the election because our egos are so incredibly fragile. We are such fragile people that we cannot handle the truth. We cannot handle the fact that our candidate lost a legitimate election. Hey, it happens. Hillary Clinton lost a legitimate election in 2016. Sometimes your candidate loses. It happens. Sad day. You don't sit there and scream and cry like little children, like little babies about fraud. That didn't actually happen. You can't prove a goddamn thing. But no, they keep on doing this. um, And they keep on turning to people who are willing to lie to them. Look, Mike Pillow, I I do think he's a true believer. Um, Either that or he's just too 
tied into this, like his ego or something, for him to, you know, get off this thing. I mean, look, a data analyst looked at Mike's evidence, his data. It proved that it's just all nonsense. It was junk data. Didn't prove that it was from the election at all. Now, Mikey has to pay $5 million to this data analyst, which will probably never happen because he ain't got $5 million laying around. And getting back to the reason that, uh, you know, where, where Mike was complaining about, oh, the Fox News, would, he wouldn't, they wouldn't bring me on to talk about our own election. That's because what you were saying is absolute nonsense. They wouldn't platform you, Mike. Because you're more trouble than you were worth. Sorry, but he was getting him into, uh, into further trouble with his nonsense. And just like Sidney Powell. Sidney Powell, it, what, you think she was worth the headache? Invented away a lot. No, no. So look, Fox wasn't in on election crime. There's a lot of things that Fox News did wrong. I'm not a defender of Fox News here, <laughs> uh, but they were part of a part of the heist of the 2020 election. No, no, that's ridiculous. If anything, they uh, encouraged people to believe in that nonsense. But anyway, um, the only crime here actually might have been perpetrated by, ironically, Donald Trump himself. I mean, look, in Georgia, Fannie Willis is looking at Donald Trump's call with Brad Raffensperger, where he had pressured officials to find him votes. Just just find me some votes. No, no, no. You don't find people votes. You earn them. And he didn't earn enough to win. Of course, he also had the fake electors, battleground states. Then he also had the you know, Capitol riots. I don't know, man. It looks like Trump uh, might be the one doing election crimes. And all of this is this massive projection because they didn't like the fact that they lost. And that's it. Now, at the end of the day, of course, it looks like Mikey is going to drive this car to the wheels fall off. And, uh, well, I guess if that's the way you're going to go. Good luck with that. Because eventually, at some point, Dominion and Smartmatic coming for you.